What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit here for episode three here on Drift 21. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all the found in the description box below. We're getting sideways today. we doing some suspension work on the 15, so let's get to it. Let's actually drive. <laughs> So, if you guys remember last episode, we did get the engine in, we got the turbo and everything put in, and I did have to mount some new wheels. So we got some new wheels on there, we did paint them gold in the paint booth, but today we're going to be working on the actual drifting aspect of this car. So, they did do some updates to the game, and, well, parts cost money now. So, luckily we got about 30k, and we have all these parts that we already bought. So we have our built motor, luckily, prior to them updating the game. So, you know, a little bit of a hack, I guess you would say. So let's go take this car out into the streets or onto the track and see what we can do with it. See how this car runs. How much power did we have on this car originally? Let's see, car parameters. Uh, steering is only 35 degrees of angle. 461 horsepower. Okay. Tab to replace porous part. Huh. Huh. Mm, it's telling me to replace my head gasket. Well, remember we did put a bad uh, stock head gasket in this car. But let's go take this thing to the track and see. We're going to go to drift land in free mode and actually see what the car does stock. We only have 35 degrees worth of angle, unfortunately. Oh, it sounds good. So let's see what it can do with 35 degrees worth of angle. Oh my. Very throttle heavy and is about to spin out because I have, don't have steering angle. 35 degrees of angle is not a lot of angle, but it's manageable. So the wheel does feel pretty good. It, it very feels almost little bit similar to a set of Corsa now the beginning is a little sloppy in the middle but that could be with the fact of the steering angle now my pedals my brake pedal doesn't like activate right away for some reason so I gotta figure out some dead zones and stuff but for first first actual drift out of this thing this car is a monster like that power is insane we definitely need to throw an angle kit in this car because it is just not having it with only 35 degrees. So we're going to go take a look at... I could just feather the throttle a little bit and we could manage to get some of the track going. A lot of clutch kicks though. And it's also going max throttle really quickly. So I gotta adjust my throttle parameters and stuff like that on my Fanatec, I feel. But I feel like if we get angle in this car, this thing will rip. So let's go do some suspension work on this car and actually get some more angle and see what we can do. So let's head back to the garage for first drive. It feels really good, actually. I kind of like the way the wheel feels. It kind of has a very Assetto Corsa-esque feel with 505 being part of it, I would kind of assume. So now let's see what we're gonna have to do for front angle in the suspension. I know we're gonna probably have to pull these wheels off. So we're gonna plop the wheel on the ground. We're probably gonna have to pull our brakes and everything off. Plop that wheel on the ground. All right, so let us come down here and take a look what we're working with. Can we change? Coilovers right now. Sport. What does this give us? Jump height. One millimeter. So what is the difference? We are going to buy the most expensive. But we cannot put it in because we would have to actually... Well, take everything off. So... 
I have to take the caliper off. Oh god, I wish I had like a, a tool tray or something that I could put my parts on. I guess I could just put them on top of my wheel. So we're going to have to take, I think, the hub out. No, can we get the suspension out now? We can. Let's pop that suspension off. Take that up there. Stick a nice new suspension arm in there. And while we're here, can we get to... I take that brake bracket off. Now we can take the hub off. Take the hub off because we're gonna want to replace this knuckle. So we gotta disconnect the steering arm. Gotta remember how all this goes back together. And now I feel like we can still not take that off. Why? Is it because this is on? Man. So we gotta rebuild this whole corner. So we're going to start with the control arm. Let's go with sport control arm. Yep. And buy that. Put that down there. One thing that we can do with this part. Yeet. Oh, it's on the shelf. We win. All right. Let's take this. Not drop that on the ground. Not drop our beautiful parts. Put that on there. So now we also need to look at steering knuckles. The sport knuckle gives us 55 degrees for the S15, and this one gives us 45. So we're going to go with the sport. Luckily, we have money. We're going to put that on. We're going to grab that coil over. Put that coil over back in. Now, can we replace that with something else? Yep, sport rods. We're not. We're just doing a full front end rebuild on the 15. Minus brakes and stuff like that. We're just going to use the factory brakes and that stuff like that. For the moment, we're just trying to get that angle. We will upgrade brakes and stuff like that later as the time comes. Put the wheel on there. Let's just, yep, yeah, that goes over there. We don't need that. Pile of parts. All right, time to go to the other side real quick. Oh. Mouse super sensitive. Take off the brake. We're going to need that. Take off the rotor. I would never be putting my rotor on the ground. I wish I had a tool cart that I could roll over here. If the devs are listening, let us get a little roll cart or something we can put tool. Or maybe a table or something that we can put stuff on. So we're not going to be using this. So we're going to go drop this over there. And then we're not going to be using the steering arm. So we're going to drop the steering arm over there. And then we're going to take the knuckle off, which we are also not using. And then we are going to take the lower control arm and drop it over here. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, we're not using any of that. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's about right. Where's the lower... Oh, that's right. I yeeted it all the way over on the shelf. And it did land on the shelf. It's in the wall. Okay. I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to probably put all this stuff on the actual bench later. So now let us get some parts here. So we could start off with control arm. There we go. And then on top of the control arm. No, we don't need a steering rack. We need a knuckle. Drop that knuckle in there. And then we need a steering there's a lot oh well we do need this so we're gonna take that which we're probably we should probably upgrade well, why can't we do that why can I did I just buy a wrong one what did I just buy no it's a fit oh it's rear well we should probably keep that because we should probably put the coil over in the rear Silly me bought the rear one, not the front one. There's the front one. Silly me, didn't read that. Bought the wrong one. So now we need, no, not that. We need, I didn't, did I just get another factory one? Bye-bye. All right, we need to buy a steering, there we go, steering linkage. For the front, 
And now we need to put the bearing back on because we should probably put the rear coils on this car also. We're going to have to put upgraded brackets on if we go bigger brakes, which we will worry about at another time. Caliper. All right. Button that wheel back up. All right, there we go. So let's do the rear coilovers. And that is all we're going to do in the rear. I think, oh, sweet. We can do that without really taking everything apart. Wait, you let me take it off. Let me put it on. Why? There you go. I was like, why would you let me put it on? All right. So let's get another rear coil on this side. Blop that down. Pull the stock coil out. Put it over here. Now we need to buy a new rear coil. And then we're going to take this car back out to the track and see where we are and if we have some sort of you know better better luck with drifting can we lower the car now now that we have coilovers on it car parameters I wish we could like you know change tuning of that so let's see what it looks like sitting on the dyno it's not really that low Sadly to say, but let's go drive it. So now we have 55 degrees of steering angle. This sh should help. Hopefully it helps. Oh my, it definitely helps. Oh yeah, it definitely helps. Wow, we have actually way more steering angle than we need. What the heck? We probably could have done less. We probably could have done less. I feel like we may have too much now, but let's actually try and uh, run some corners here. Oh, I need more grip in the rear. We may have to do more rear work with control arms and stuff like that in the rear. So I feel like I don't have a lot of grip. Which could also be the tires. So let's change up tracks. And go to another track. And test the slideability on one of the other tracks that we got. So we have Minami and we have the school. So you know we're going to try and jump drift this thing. It's going to happen and we're probably going to fail. But I could say I tried. Let's go full send. Oh, oh, oh my. We almost made that. Oh, the car slides so much. I think I need to work on tire pressure, or I think we need grippier tires. Drifting it like the Maname in uh, set of Corsa right now. Ooh. So we may need some more, uh, some more grip in the tires because we are sliding a lot. So I'm going to have to look at some different tires, maybe change up wheels and stuff like that. But for feel, it's very, uh, very responsive now. Yeah, we just slide a lot. We're definitely going to need to work on grip levels now. So just a first little look at some of the driving characteristics of the game. It's, uh, this game looks like it's going to be a lot of fun with having to learn everything about it. So make sure you guys follow me and subscribe on Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.